Every now and again, I see someone post and ask a question about problems with their DJI 03 or the original DJI FPV system where their MSP DisplayPort OSD is working, but they can't get it to arm or auto record. And the hint to this will be that their voltage showing at the bottom in the goggles is normally at zero. Now, this is caused by a wiring issue on the flight controller. And what I'm gonna do in this video is walk you through what it actually is and then tell you how to resolve it. The first scenario I'm going to show you is a loss of the grey wire or what is the TX from the O3 ear unit to the RX on your flight controller's UART. You can see that I've disconnected that wire here. If we hop on and look through the goggles themselves, you can actually see in this scenario you do get OSD. If I move my throttle up and down you can see that it is reacting you can see that the battery voltage is correct on the beta flight osd and everything else is showing what you're not getting though is the information on the dji osd so for instance if you look at the bottom next to the little symbol it's showing 0.0 volts in this situation, it's also the case that it will not be receiving the MSP commands from the flight controller to tell it it's armed. So for instance, if I actually manually arm, you will see that the beta flight OSD said it was armed, but nothing has changed on the O3 ear unit. We are not recording and we remain in low power mode. Now, obviously in this situation, what you're not going to be getting is your ear unit exit that low power mode, enter full power mode, and give you the full O3 performance. If you're getting this, what you need to do is check that that TX line from the O3 ear unit to your flight controller is connected correctly. So I've said the hint for this is that you will get 0 volts showing at the bottom. Your bit rate may be stuck at the lower 7 megabits a second or even lower if using a different ear unit. And it will not auto record, but it won't kick in to that normal activation mode like you need it to do with O3. Because remember, O3 will not give you full output power unless you do have that MSP command enabled. Even turning off low power mode in O3 will not give you full power. It needs to arm properly via the MSP command. Now, this can be caused by a couple of things. It can be you have a loose wire from your ear unit to your flight controller, or you may have accidentally picked the wrong UART pin. So for instance, you might have the TX on the flight controller on UART 1 and accidentally have the RX on say UART 2 or 3. If you're getting this and you still have it on the right UART and you've done all the correct configuration, then my suggestion would be swap UARTs. There is definitely some quirks within some flight controllers or beta flight that one UART will work properly and one UART won't. But the idea of this video is to show you what to start looking at. So you start with the wiring, then look at what UART you have it connected to. Do I have the TX and RX on the same UART? Is the configuration correct? And if it all is, then try another UART. I hope this video has been helpful. It was just a short one to try and help people diagnose the issues. If you have found this video useful, please do make sure you are subscribed to the channel. There is a playlist with a bunch of videos like this in it for the O3 system. This is part of a much larger video where I talk about all parts of the O3 system. If you're interested in seeing that, I'll put a link to that in the description. So please do make sure you check it out. Finally, I just want to say, if you do find this useful, please do consider supporting the channel via Patreon. There is a link to that in the description as well. I want to say a massive thank you for all of my Patreon patrons for the support you've given and if you'd like to support us please do consider checking it out anyway let me know what you think in the comment section stay safe i'll speak to you soon